Right, well, that's that sorted, and I'm hoping to never have to go through this again. Well, it wasn't terribly stressful, it, it, it was just annoying. So not only have I had to modify the, the Buckman Patriot, you know, a Buckman Patriot's box twice, I've had to modify Hornby's new 52XX box twice. First, at the underneath, you know, not cut any parts away, which I had to do with the Patriot twice, but just push bits down, you know, push those bits down, which were sticking up, and touching the under rods under there, which were preventing her from... Well, she would, well, she would, she would fit in though. You know, you could still seal her up, turn, you know, fold the thing back over, but she would really wobble around. Well, when like this, you know, she would stick up at least about, at least about that much than normal. But yeah, she would, she would really wobble around, but would just fit back in. But yeah, even that's not good enough. So, so I've pushed those bits down and. Um, the same thing, just just like with the Patriot, won't fit back in the box. You know, won't fit back in the box with the front side steps on. Again, I didn't, I didn't, ugh, I didn't even know that they went on the front until I looked at a picture of a real one because it doesn't show them on, on the box. That's what I know. You can see something sticking down there, but no, that's not it. That's just um, top of the, I think it's the top of the wheel part there. But no, 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 that it's um. It's not, it's not got them on on there. Usually it has, you know, if you look at another Hornby locomotive. So strange indeed, but it's no way as annoying as what I've had to go through. I mean, um, this box was much easier to cut because Hornby's block of ice or plastic tray packaging um, is much softer, it's a bit of a softer plastic than Buckman, so it was a lot easier to cut. But you know, you, sh you shouldn't have to cut it, I mean, okay, one thing which comes into your mind is, okay, well may maybe they're not really that meant to be put in and out of the box, it's meant to be running on a layout, but you know, I'm sure loads of people out there with permanent layouts have them out a lot, but keep the box and do put them away at times, and you know, if you want your locomotives to look at, you know, if you want to reel them up as, you know, you know, make them look as realistic as possible by, by putting on all those extra parts and then, you know, you have to glue some parts on. You know, some parts, you know, you have no choice but to glue, like these side steps. Well, I, I, I was actually hoping that these would stay on without gluing. You know, because they sort of fitted in a slot. One of them fell sort of secure, a little bit loose, but the again, the other one just fell straight out. So, um, but you, you know, plus of course, gluing just saves the hassle of putting them on and off. You know, if you if you if you if you want them, you know, if you want the local to run and look as realistic as possible. And to be honest, there's just enough room for the front coupling there. So yeah, Buckman and Hornby. Well, I'm disappointed that I've been, well, mainly disappointed that that I've encountered this with both brands now, uh, both main brands. <laughs> Again, I've ne I've never come across this before. Well, never really. Well, um, I think the only really I've re what I've really just come across before is um, just a local not being able to fit back in with the front coupling on. But that, but that was in a, in a polystyrene box. Um, but again, you know, just, it got everywhere. But I managed to cut away some little bits. But um, but this is more or less the first time I've encountered one like this. Well, with the plastic tray packaging, but everything's all sorted now, and I'm again both brands. I'm I'm hoping not to encounter this again. You know, you don't you know you don't really buy these locos. You, you, well, to then make them look as well, make them look as realistic as you can. Again, some of the extras are so fiddly and annoying to get on. Again, don't get me started on those under rods. Um, you know, some of them are so fiddly to get on. Why can't the bit, you know, all, you know, already be on? And then you really shouldn't have to go through the fuss and the annoyance of finding out that the loco will not fit back in the box with them on, or not fit back in properly, or might just fit back in but doesn't feel secure. And you're saying, you know, both reasons were, um, both things were preventing the Buckman Patriot from going back in. The top parts are on the tender. And, and and then unknowingly, you know, I didn't know that the side steps would prevent them from going back. Yeah, same with this one as well. Despite them being only very small, only about, only about half the size of um, the one, you know, um, a Patriots one or a Black Five step, you know, just like a single step. About a Black Five or Patriots one is about that big, but the one, the fifty two XX one, is tiny, about about that big. But yet they still made it 
they still made the packaging not able to you know not able to fit it back in unless you modify it yourself so yeah cut away those two sections which were sticking out folded back the sharp pieces of plaid the sharp pe um, pieces of cut plastic well not as sharp since it's softer and also put sellotape over them as well so you know just you know just to protect my fingers and the loco so yeah that's um a warning about this one as well I, I still do recommend it but I thought you know this model especially since it's brand new uh, you know well it was just released last month and and if you're thinking of getting one and you you know you wanting to put the extras on just a warning it won't um well it might she might just fit back in the box with the um under rods on but she not really well balanced you know will lean over to one side and be really wobbly so i'd recommend it's easy to do since it's softer plastic just push down those bits which stick up again i'll just show them a few minutes ago um but will not fit back in um, properly at all with the side steps on unless you cut you know unless you cut away those sections again of course you don't have to put those bits on and it's just strange you know that you know you usually the main picture just show the local to have all the extra parts on i mean it, it shows them to have the vacuum pipes on and the under rods as well but for some reason not the side steps they are definitely the side front set you know side steps to reach up to the smoke box to get to the smoke box door you know for some reason not then that's Again, not again, not a problem, but just very awkward. But this locomotive is superb. She really is. But again, just a warning, not by the loco, about the packaging. Again, disappointed. It's annoying. It's made me fall out with this type of packaging even more.